to admit that the government response has been below par. The government response has not been worthy of commendation. And put yourself in the shoes of fellow Ghanaians who woke up one morning and lost everything, all their livelihoods, everything washed away. They have absolutely nothing left. And they have had to put up in tents for almost a year. No places of convenience. The last time the Akosombo Spillage Committee set up by this house and the speaker visited us. Even water at the camp had been disconnected. And that was the third time I had to pay the water bill of the people. It's as though we want to push them, you know, to, I mean, to achieve what I don't know. So, Honorable Minister, a whole year, is this the best your ministry can do? And as you respond to that, can you tell us specifically, with this first phase of 115 contractors behind shadow, what is the new date of completion? And then the second phase, the 1010, can you tell us specifically when to you will start work on the 1010? As I mentioned to you earlier, Chairman, myself and the regional minister are billed to pay a visit to the construction sites in the next 14 days uh, to engage with the contractors and based on that engagement, we'll get an update. Yeah, did you say the next four days or 14 days? I said the next 14 days. Oh, oh, why 14 days? To engage with the Honorable contractors. Honorable Minister, why 14 days? A you, number of clearly, days. you see, you people are not addressing this matter as a national emergency. We are talking about a disaster. These are fellow Ghanaians. Contractors are behind schedule, a national disaster, a national emergency, and next 14 days. Really, Honorable Minister? Chairman, we have built to visit the site within the next 14 days to engage with the contractors and find out the reasons for which they are behind schedule. When that is done, we will have clarity on the updated timelines to finish the work. Now, on the phase two, which is 1,010, we are awaiting approval from the Public Procurement Authority on the pre-qualified contractors that we have um, uh, sent to them so that they can also get to site and commence work as quickly as possible. Chairman, I think we should also move away from this, may I say, posture, where we want to create the impression that some persons care and some persons don't care. You introduce the word sincerity. Yes. Into this conversation. Yes. If we are being sincere, you have been one of the persons who keeps whipping up this uh, uh, impression that somebody doesn't care. You will recall that when the military on ground yes. was asked to move from one location to another as part of the exercise, you came out saying that the military had been asked to withdraw from the police. I'm glad that you have introduced that. Chairman, that was not sincere. I am glad that you have introduced that matter. Yes. What your government did, what the commander-in-chief asked them to do, was rather the insincerity. They were moving out. The commander told me. I was there. The chairman, team and your, that your, is not your correct. Former, your former chairman, colleagues. That is not correct. We will not have a banter here. That is not correct. But for the record, for the record, and this is my committee. You don't come here and dictate. I'm the I'm chair not of this committee. You have asked me a question, and I'm responding. And you on the matter, the word on the, yes, and on the and matter, I'm respectfully submitting to you that when you announced to the whole republic that the military had been asked to withdraw from the Volta region, chairman, that wasn't sincere because the military had not been asked to withdraw from the entire Volta region. They had been asked to move from one place to the other. I am, that wasn't sincere. I am putting it to you. And I that, think that, that chairman, was an after I After think, chairman, I exposed, after I exposed, chairman, after I exposed the government. Chairman, can I speak? Chairman, can I speak? Of course you can speak. But I am the chairman of this committee yes. and I will, I will regulate this meeting. You have a right to. But if you put so, out so on the matter, respond, on the matter, respond, on the matter of sincerity, I know what you are doing. You are trying to deflect. We will come back to housing. On the matter of the soldiers, the soldiers were moving out. They had packed and were leaving. I was with the TV3 crew. Talk to TV3. They 
They broke the news. They spoke to the commanders. It was an afterthought. After there was an uproar, then the military PR put out a statement that they were moving to another location. Can I respond? So, Can I respond? as a matter of fact, Can I respond? they were moving out. The military movement is not the subject of this discussion. You have introduced the term insincere. It is your government Chairman, that can has I been respond? insincere. Can I respond, Chairman? Their response was insincere. Can I respond, they, Chairman? The soldiers were moving out. I was on a tour with TV3. They saw them moving out. They had packed back and baggage and were moving out. Can the I commanders respond? on the floor that day can I told us that they were moving out. And I condemned that. And they did a U-turn and came back to that same location. Can I if respond? they were moving to another place, can I why respond, didn't they go to can where, I respond? wherever you say they were going to? Can, they I came back. can I respond? You respond when it is time for you to respond. They came back to that same location. They didn't go to any other location. And we are not discussing military movement here. We are not discussing that. So this red herring will not, Chairman, we are will not, will not, will not be entertained. We are discussing insincerity. It is your response. No, you raised your insincerity. Response. You that raised was insincerity. insincerity. You raised insincerity. Please, can, Chairman, I, can, we Chairman, please. can we have some order? Please. Can we have some order? Can we have some order? Minister, can we have some order? Mr. Chairman, please. Can we can have some order? This, uh, I, I, hope, I hope the Honorable please. Minister is aware. Please, please. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Honorable. Yeah. I hope the Honorable Minister is aware that if this committee is not satisfied with the assurances you have been given this house on the matter of providing housing for fellow citizens who are taxpayers, who have equal rights as you, Honorable Minister, and us here, this committee, it is well within our right to recommend sanctions. I hope you know that. We can even recommend a vote of censure if we take a majority view that you are not attaching the seriousness, the urgency. This is not a matter that we reduce to political football, deflection, obfuscation, red herrings, as you are trying to do today. It's been a year. People are living in distress. People are devastated. Fellow citizens, your contractors, after their late arrival, are even behind schedule. You are now looking at some 14 day window to go to the site. Clearly, we are not impressed. So, we take a very serious view about this matter. We are not here to engage in the usual political banter. This is a matter of enormous public interest. Chairman, can I Lives are at stake. Livelihoods are at stake. When will the first set of houses be ready? And when can we see a change in attitude. When can this committee see your ministry, your government prioritizing the plight of victims of the VRA spinach? That is our concern this afternoon. Can I respond, Chairman? Yes, you can. You have accused us here of playing political football, of deflecting, and of introducing red herrings into our conversation. We have to have a right to respond to those accusations that you have made. You earlier accused us of insincerity. And I suggested to you that, with great respect, without you know, a challenge to the fact that you are chairman of this committee and that this is a committee of parliament, I mentioned to you earlier that there's work that is ongoing. Within 14 days, the uh, regional minister and myself will be back on the ground. This will not be the first time. We'll be back on the ground to engage with the contractors and make a determination of why they are behind schedule and when they will complete. And when that is done, I'll be able to ferry to this committee updated timelines of when they'll be complete. But Chairman, I'm saying to you that if you introduce a concept of insincerity 
of playing partisan football, of deflecting and introducing red herrings, it is respectfully within my right to also draw your attention to instances where I am of the view you have done same. But I don't think that that is what we are here to do for the benefit of the Ghanaian people. For the people in these areas, the number one interest that they have is that we complete these projects on time for people to benefit. But if you choose, Chairman, respectfully, to accuse me before the whole country of playing partisan football, not being sincere, of deflecting and of introducing red herrings, then I have a right in my own defense to draw your attention to instances where I believe you have done the same. I don't think that's what we are here to do. Specific on this matter, within 14 days, myself and the regional minister will be on ground once again. We will engage with the contractors. We will have clearer timelines, which I will share with you. If we want to go into the questions of parliamentary football and deflection, uh, I don't think that you intend to use your committee as a bully pulpit to invite ministers and make these accusations and not give them an opportunity to answer. Uh, honorable minister.